Hello learners, in this unit on dance, we shall discuss the dance attributes with reference to classical dances of India. In this video, we will understand about the role of attributes and special features of Indian classical dances, the different principles that govern Indian dance structure and the techniques used in classical dances of India. We all know that dance occupies an important place or rather it is an important factor in the social structure of all cultures throughout history. Dance tells us about the way people think, what they feel and who they are. Dance is commonly defined as a form of human expression through body movement, but dance simply cannot be reduced merely to just various moments. There are number of definitions of dance which classify it as a conscious way of rhythmic movement of body in a defined, in a defined bounded space or a specific art movement based on the expressive moves of the human body. However, these uh, definitions of dance usually overlook many symbolic aspects of dance. It is an essential part of a culture. Dance can be done for many reasons. For example, it is a some form of a therapy or it is used for the preservation of culture or simply just for pleasure. Dance is a powerful impulse that is channeled by skillful performers and it becomes intensely expressive. A skillful choreographed art dance or a practice is one of the important attributes of classical dances. So learners, we have understood that dance is a movement of body in a rhythmic way, usually to music. It amplifies the collaboration of choreographers and writers for the purpose of expressing. It reflects the creativity and emotion of the performers. Now, after understanding the concept of dance, now let us discuss about the background of Indian classical dance. Performing arts such as classical dances are integral part of Indian culture. India is well known for its rich cultural legacy and is considered as the mother of classical dances. The root of dance is traced back from the Sanskrit text Natya Shastra. The first compilation of Natya Shastra is dated around 200 BCE. The incredible traditional classical dances of India were originated during the ancient time. The classical dances of India include Bharatnatyam, which is the oldest and popular form of classical dance in the country and its techniques are mentioned in Natya Shastra. Indian classical dance was developed as a part of religious ritual in which dancers worship the god by telling stories about their life. So we have three important components which form the basis of these dances. These components, the first one is the Natya which represents the dramatic element of the dance, Nritya which is a pure dance in which the rhythms and phrases of the music are reflected in the decorative movements of hand, body and feet and Nritya the portrayal of music through facial expressions hand gestures and position of leg and feet. So now let us study in this video about the various dance attributes. Since dance is a ancient art and has evolved over a period of time, the study of its main attribute is essential to understand the techniques. So we will focus on two main themes that is the theory and the various techniques that are used in this classical dance forms. In the Indian literary tradition, there are number of writings on the art of dance. 
both at the level of theory and techniques the texts provide valuable information but as i shared with you the most important and the most fundamental among all these work is natya shastra which was composed by a sage bharata most of the information on the theory and the techniques are given in this text and are practiced even today the natya shastra is the work dealing with all the elements in totality and it runs to 6 36 chapters it is highly probable that this composite work was written during the course of few centuries by authors of the same pen name hence this work may be considered as an extraordinary compilation of a series of supplemental treatises on the subject this clearly proves the exclusive importance of the dance styles and the prestige uh, the original author bharata enjoyed in ancient indian society now let me take you to the theory part of the indian classical dance the theory of indian dance is holistic in its exposition and cannot be understood in isolation without taking into account the techniques of dance at the level of the technique the art of dance has to be comprehended as an interesting synthesis of the art of sculpture painting music and even literature the dance texts do not deal with the techniques in isolation but they combine all the above performing arts also all the treatises in fact consider dance as among the many communication techniques The Natya Shastra thus states categorically about dance. This art of dance is enriched by the teachings and the practices of relevant gurus over a period of time. The theory of dance is an integral part of the tradition of drama, which is Natya. It is therefore imperative to understand the conception of drama. to be able to realize the implications of the integrating character of the dance at the very early stage of development of classical dances drama fused themselves into it thus by the time natya shastra was composed the dance was very much part of the dramatic presentations also evidently in the text then both appear as mutually supplementing and supporting each other and there are numerous points of contact the theory of indian dance has actually been picked out and its principles selected from the various techniques of drama prescribed by the text the goal of any natya is only to create rasa rasa is the enjoyment of an aesthetic bliss derived through witnessing or reading a production the process through which this is achieved is the substructure of the varied rules analytically laid down in the natya shastra the bhava that is feeling contained in a situation and the character involved has to be expressed by the actor or the writer as the case may be in such a way that it can be understood by the onlooker or reader unless the feelings and ideas are communicated the audience cannot share those feelings which ultimately is responsible for evoking ras the art of communication is called abhinay there are four mediums of expressions available for the artist This analysis given in the Natya Shastra is so accurate and universal that it is valid even today for any kind of dance performances across the globe. So learners, uh, we let us understand the broad principles that govern the structure of Indian dance. The first principle is the mode of presentation which is in the form of dharmas stage way natya and the way of the world which is known as loka there are different types of styles which are known as vrittis for example grace, graceful as kesiki grand as satvi 
एनर्जेटिक इज अराभटी एंड वर्बल इज भारती अगेन देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एक्टिंग्स विच इज नोन एज अभिनय सच एज जेस्चर्स अंगिका वोकल वाचिका स्टेज प्रॉप आचार्य वेरियस पॉजिटिव टेम्परमेंट सात्विका सो टू सम अप वी कैन से दैट नाट्य हाईलाइट्स द ड्रामेटिक एलिमेंट एंड द मोस्ट डांस फॉर्म्स डू गिव एम्फोसिस टू दिस आस्पेक्ट इवन इन वेरियस परफॉर्मेंसेस नृत्य इज एसेंशियली एक्सप्रेशनल परफॉर्म स्पेसिफिकली टू कन्वे द मीनिंग ऑफ अ थीम और आइडिया एंड नृत्य इज प्योर डांस वेयर बॉडी मूवमेंट डू नॉट एक्सप्रेस एनी मूड और भावा नॉट डू दे कन्वे एनी मीनिंग इट इज इन फैक्ट अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ऑल और मोस्ट ऑफ दीज प्रिंसिपल्स विच कैरेक्टराइज द क्लासिकल डांसेस द नाट्य शास्त्र एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड has this has highlighted this in the context of both dance and drama this division is latest seen in texts such as abhinay darpan which deals with dance as an independent art the treatment given to dance in abhinay darpan becomes a standard for almost all later writers thus sarang dev and the texts like vishnu dharma stotra purana and natya shastra sangrahe more or less accept the same treatment now let us move to the techniques of dance which are mentioned in various literary sources according to sangeet ratnakar abhinay darpan and other medieval work dancing is divided as i had discussed with you into three major categories natya nritya and nritya nritya corresponds to pure dancing where the movement of the body do not express any mood bhava and do not convey any meaning we use movements of limbs and poses of human body as the medium the other type of distinction that is stated by the text is at of tandava and las hence the technique of indian dancing is classified either under nritya nritya or natya or tandav and las these terms are prevalent among practicing dancers and we find that dancers from all parts of our country speak an identical language of basic techniques though ca- there can be variations in their interpretations on the basis of the technique of dancing we have divided now the dance into pure dancing which is nritya and dancing with miming and various posture nritya it would be more appropriate to term the later as agnika abhinay or just abhinay now let me elaborate more on these techniques let me first discuss with you nritya the nritya technique of indian dance emphasizes human movement indian dance in fact strings together a number of highly styled and symbolic poses The nritya technique encompasses not only the technique of rendering rhythm that is tal through movement which has its own meaning but an important feature of this is projecting specific poses within the given rhythmic cycle Indian dance purposefully emphasizes only on certain types of movements it explores the full possibility of those movements within consciously imposed limitations none of the indian dance styles use large leaps except for certain aspects of kathakali and chhau form and there are number of discussions and texts available regarding the dance methods though we have studied that natya shastra contain detailed analysis of the movement of major limbs the angas and the minor limbs the up angas the head chest sides waist hips and feet constitute major limbs which is known as angas and the eyes eyebrow nose lip chin mouth etc constitute the minor limbs which is up angas then we have the discussion also on the basic sthanas that is the combination of primary movement nritya is a spiritual experience for the ideal dancer and the ideal audience 
it is a means through which the dancer achieves the real sense by shedding of her body consciousness as in yoga in dance to the body is trained only to be forgotten about the external world the dancer self integrates with the universe with through its dance as a cosmic activity and liberates her from all the shackles of this earth therefore the dancer experiences unlimited freedom and bliss and the end result of such a nritya is same as that of yoga and yagna now let us discuss an important part of classical dance which is mudra mudra are an indispensable part of indian dance every gesture of hand can express extreme joy or unexplainable grief a simple movement of the hasta or a hand can denote infinite solace in the abhay mudra of a shiva dance the hand gestures of the dancers move with the limbs and the body of the performer mingle with the verses in the natya shastra five chapters have been devoted to this language of mudra mudra have significant importance in katha kathakali mohini attam and many other classical and folk dance forms there are references of about 28 gestures for single hand 24 gestures for two hand these mudras are also used to represent the gods like vishnu shiva and demons like mahishasur and bhasmasur or animals such as peacock birds are also used as expression of beauty and sorrow apart from this mudras also portray verbs men and women divine objects planets such as moon stars and also kings their palaces and the nature now let us study the importance of abhinay in dance the important aspect of the natya termed as agnika abhinay in the natya shastra is an integral part of dancing in dance it is the abhinay and there are certain principles that are applied to nritya or during the process in the nritya portion the musical accomplishment utilizes the melodies given in a rhythmic cycle tal and the variation of the tal are interpreted by the feet and the other angas and upangas of the body now let us discuss in detail about abhinay the art of communication is called abhinay There are four medium of expression available for the artist. This analysis given in the Natya Shastra is so accurate and universal, and that it is valid even today. The four abhinays are angika, which is related to physical, vachika, which is verbal, aheria, which is external, and satvika, which is related to the positive internal energy. Agnika abhinay is the art of physical expression the entire human body as we have discussed has been analyzed in natya shastras as angas and pratyangas later the authorities have added to this classification the upangas which in turn were divided as those belonging exclusively to the face and those to other limbs of the body exercises from head to foot are prescribed for each limb based highly on the kinetic principles the students was expected to master these individual exercises and proceed in practicing combinations of movements of various limbs these exercises are meaningfully utilized during the dance forms to convey idea and the feelings this is the essence of agnika abhinay learners we know that physical expression is a part of human nature the connection between this the universal god is so intrinsic that the minute vibrations of the mind gets reflected through body in our daily life so we use these principles and we uh, perform with lot of speed and space of our pacing whenever we are going ahead and 
moving towards a performance and classical dance. The art of physical expression is beautifully classified and codified by Bharata, which artistically suits a dramatic representation. Agnika Abhinay is of two categories. Uh, one is the uh, Padar Abhinay, while the other is the Vektikar Abhinay. So the former means the expression of word to word meaning and while the later is a communication of general ideas or sentences. So we use various mediums uh, such as Sakha, Sakha literally means a branch, Ankura is the sprout while Ritta is the dance. Sakha indicates the availability of an entire system of gesticulation through the hands. A complete language of gestures has been handed down by generation of artists. These hand gestures are again of two types. One is a group of Abhinay Hasta and another set is of Nritya Hasta. The former subdivided as a Samyukta which is a single hand and Samyukta which is a combined hand gestures. These Abhinay Hastas are used to bring about the overall feelings during the dance process. The practical application of the given set of Abhinay Hasta is also called Ankura. The second group of gestures called the Nritya Hastas are used in the Nritya dance. So we have various variations according to the different types of dance styles and the mastery of the dancers over Abhinay as a medium of expression. In the Abhinay portion, the music plays a very important role. It may consist of poetry, lyrics or narratives with a set of rhythm. It is a poetry which is interpreted by the dancers. In the actual interpretation, especially in the solo dancing of all classical style, it consists of portraying the various states of feelings. This is done through a series of Agnika Abhinay in which each word or line of poetry is interpreted in different ways. So in doing so, the principle of Natya Dharma is fully followed. The dancer assumes different roles without the change of dress or costumes. So from the movement of the Angas and Upnangas, the Nritya, the Abhinay, it depends on the the kind of theme on which the classical dance is being performed. Another important aspect of classical dance is the expression of idea. Uh, Sometimes Abhinay is performed without song text and is understood when a particular story or a particular incident is portrayed. Here the spectators are the ones who are aware about the sequences and they have understood uh, the overall uh, script. For example, popular scripts of uh, Makhanchur or Rukmani Haran are such which even the, the people who enjoy the classical dance are aware about it and they are prepared to receive the dance in a different way altogether. So we have different popular themes which are used and these themes are based on the various types of dance styles that are practiced all across India. We have another important concept which is known as Navarasas in dance which is as the nine form of expression such as love is depicted through Shingar, compassion through Karuna anger through Rudra and we have uh, Adbhut, an expression of wonderness and peace is through Shanti. Learners, uh, there are eight classical dances which are recognized by government of India. They are Bharatnatyam, Kathakali, Kuchipudi, Kathak, Manipuri, Odissi, Mohini Attam and Satriya. Now these dances are popular in different parts of the country and they represent the various metaphysical elements or the pancha tattvas in the body. For example, Odissi represents element of water, Kochipodi element of earth, Mohini atom element of air, Bharatne atom focus on element of fire and Kathakali is an element of mystic manifestation of the metaphysical elements of nature. 
So, in this video we have studied about the various types of techniques of dance that are involved. Indian dances are complex, but I hope that you really enjoy watching the presentation by famous dancers and there are so many classical dances of India with a lot of features where we systematically apply the principles that are mentioned in our traditional text. Thank you.